What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I know I haven't posted a video in about a couple weeks, but we got a new tutorial here on my boy Clinton. He's got super tight curls. We're giving we're gonna give him about a mid taper, like a blowout, the hard part, and we're gonna trim some off the top. Alright? Don't wanna miss this tutorial. Haven't done any videos on this type of hair texture, so stay tuned. Alright, so to start off this haircut, I'm gonna go ahead and pick out his hair because like I said, his hair is super curly, super tight curls. So I'm just gonna go through picking out his hair, getting it all, you know, picked out so that I have an even cut and that I don't have any inconsistency in his hair. Go ahead and apply a little bit of water onto the hair after you kind of picked it out just so you know it'll be a lot easier for the comb to grow through the hair so we're going to go ahead and make our first guideline at the top of his ear and we're making a nice round shape contouring to the bottom of his c cup area so this is about like a mid to low taper but i'm going to really extend it and blow it out so it it gives the you know look of more of a higher taper or a more blown out taper but still keeping that c cup area as dark as possible and now i'm just going to go ahead and kind of freehand real quick into you know the afro because he wanted it you know more bulky around the ear area he doesn't want to you know cut down all to a number two or something like that but i will come back over with a three guard just to have it nice and even and so that i know i'm fading into a three so right here we got our three guard and i'm just clearing off bulk you know there's not too much bulkiness but I'm just, you know, going through with the three, make sure it's all even and keeping it tight in that area. I'm not going behind his ear. I'm just keeping it tight in that area that I'm working on. Next, we're going to take no guard with our lever completely open, using the corner and creating that next guideline in the same shape that we made that first guideline. And I am using my Ergo Clippers by Gamma. And as you can tell, it took, created that line super easy. Now we're going to go ahead and close the lever halfway and same steps and then close the clipper all the way completely closed and repeat the same process until that line is completely removed. Next we have our number one guard with the lever completely open and we're doing the same steps you know keeping it nice and tight in that same area using corners and going right below where we did with that three guard and the guards that I am using are the single magnetic guards that come with the ergo clippers and then after that, I'm just gonna go, you know, flip over my clipper, go with the grain just to take away some bulkiness and, you know, to take away those dark spots that you see. And I don't really use the two guard, I believe, when I'm doing it on this side, because I could, you know, kind of maneuver and sneak away. But if, you know, if you need to go up to a next guard, a number two guard to remove some dark areas, go ahead and do that. And after the one guard open, you know, we closed it down and then we moved on to the zero guard open to close. And then now we're just going to go ahead and detail with no guard on there. Use the corners to take away any dark spots. So right here I went back to my one guard and I'm just, you know, detailing, seeing any dark spots, combing through and just keep repeating that same process until I got a nice smooth blend. All right, now we're moving on to the back area, setting our first guideline. His tape area was pretty tricky. As you can, you're gonna see that there's a lot of swirls going on in the middle part of his hair. The hair uh, direction or the pattern is changing a lot. So you gotta make sure you maneuver your clipper in ways where you're going against the grain so you get an even cut. But we're gonna start the same way, put our ball guy line in there, and then I'm gonna move on to the number three guard. And I'm just going off of his head. You know, I'm not digging in just to know that I'm blending into a three guard. So as you can see, I'm going with the shape of his afro, scooping out as I get higher in. Now we have no guard on there with the lever completely open, making about an inch guard line. And as you're gonna see, I'm gonna be turning my clip around, moving around to make sure I get an even cut. Mm -hmm. 
after that you want to go ahead and use a brush just to clean off the canvas i re recommend using a brush when you're dealing with shorter guards and then the longer guards you're using go ahead and move on to like a comb but now we're going to go ahead and remove the bottom line Co blade completely closed open it halfway open it a little bit more and then move the lever up and down as you need to get that line completely removed Now we have the two guard and we're doing the same steps as we did with the three guard. Next we have our one guard completely open and we're just gonna go ahead and go right below where we left off with that two guard. And we do that same motion. We're flicking off of the head, we're not digging in. And that's how you get a nice soft blend and you don't create more lines, all right? You don't wanna dig, you wanna keep the blade nice and fleshed on his head and move with the head shape. And then we're gonna go ahead and close the lever as we need to complete close. And then once that guard's not cutting anymore, we're gonna move on to the zero guard from open to close. And once that's not cutting anymore, we'll go ahead and detail with no guard and then go back to any guard that we need to get a flawless fade. Now, as you can see, the whole back taper is coming together. Detailing is hands down where you spend most of your work at. You gotta go through your steps real quick and then you come back in detail to really get a nice blurry taper or faded. And don't be afraid to you know move your client's head to wherever you want to in order to you know see you know the dark spots or what to remove. move on to the other side of the taper I'm gonna kind of just sit back and let you guys watch and follow through what I'm doing Next, we're gonna go and move on. And what I'm gonna do here is start shaping up the afro. I'm starting from the front, so making my first guy line. The same way how it goes to you know shaping a beard, make a little guy line and then follow that throughout the rest of the head. So I started rest the clipper on his forehead and I went straight up off of that. So I would create that first line so it's perfectly even with his forehead because there is a little indentation from the forehead to the hair. So I'll go straight off of that hope that makes sense and then I'm just gonna go start my way on one side cutting up he wanted to cut off about like an inch he just really wanted it tightened up so I took off about you know an inch of his fro made that all smooth on the one side and then I'll just match it to the other side and then check see what needs to be more curved or round or taken off Okay, quick tip. So this is no different than cutting straight hair with scissors. As you can tell on the right side, his right side, I did uh, vertical sections. So I was technically cutting vertically and now I'm cross checking and I'm going horizontally to make sure it's nice and even. So that's the best way to get an even cut on an afro. Now we're going to move on to 
the best part of the haircut this is where everything comes back to life and this is preparing the lineup on his back taper and then his front lineup so i took a number one guard and i'm just debulking that area very lightly just going with the grain and just debulking taking that extra weight off so that when i come back with my clippers it's gonna hit super hard and the line that lineup's gonna come out super crispy i'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of hairspray just to lock everything in so that like i said again when i go to line him up it's gonna come out super crispy follow it up with a blow dryer just to speed up the timing all right now sit back and watch the lineup come to life but i know a lot of people are going to be asking these are my gamma hitters with astros p3 blade on there i'll have the links and codes down below just so you can save some extra money and if you want to get your own you can do that but you do not want to push them back you know keep as natural as possible as you can tell i just went from where it was the fullest brought it up as i get to that round area of his ear where it starts to curve I kind of start using it as a pencil and I just start to edge it up, get a super crispy, and then I'll go back over it, touch it up a couple times, reverse the clipper over, you know, if I have to take away some weight, and then we'll come back laser, later with the razor to get it nice and crispy. I do change up sometimes how where I start with the lineups, but I do like to get the C cups out of the way first and then move to the middle, work to one side and then do it to the next side. So I take a step back, look at the lineup, see which side I wanna to go to. And I'll start from the middle and I'll start working my way to one side. So I decided to move to his right side. So I'm just, you know, start from the middle, moved on to the right side work on the vertical bars get it as crispy as i can but as natural as possible so that i'm not pushing him back and that he doesn't have so much grow grow back so as i'm lining up this side of his lineup i went in and connected it into a hard part into his hair which i think added you know a little bit of a you know a little good touch to it keeping it pretty thin and then we're gonna go ahead and edge up his C-cup area and his vertical bar. And then you're gonna to start to see everything coming to life. Look, that taper with that hard part, I don't know what it is with this hair texture. It just pops out so much better and just, it just hits different. And then once you're gonna go ahead and put that enhancement in there, ooh, just wait. This right here sets you apart from other barbers. When they're already reclined back and you're ready to hit his lineup and he's doing a taper, might as well, you know, tilt this out a little bit and hit that back line with the razor and it's gonna just make it pop even more and your clients are gonna appreciate it because the haircut's gonna last just that much longer. And we're here trying to, you know, make the haircut last as long as possible and as natural as possible. You know, longevity is key with giving them, you know, a nice crispy lineup. to the next step is going to be an enhancement i am using my 245 compressor with their dye as well i'm using i believe the dark brown mix with black looks super natural and goes perfect with his hair and we're just gonna go and spray all the lineups that we did get everything nice and crispy and this is what you know sets your hair apart from a 20 dollars haircut from a 15 dollars haircut and where you can you know be able to charge 30 40 50 60 even up to 100 dollars for a cut people may think you're crazy but it's doable. I know a lot of barbers doing it. I'm current. I am, you know, doing it as well. So I'm speaking from experience. This pencil is just something extra. It just outlines your lineups just to show how crispy and how symmetrical everything is. Nothing, you know, doesn't do anything for the haircut. It's just for video purposes or photos purposes. And you go back with the razor 
or your trimmer to fade out that line so it looks like a nice you know natural white ash line Always, always after finishing a beard sculpt or a afro sculpt, make sure to follow through with your curved shears just to get everything nice and tight and get all those loose hairs that are hanging out. Right here I'm just applying a little bit of product, some I believe pomade of mine, and I'm just using my hands. Because this hair is super curly already, I'm just going to go ahead and use my hands and start twisting to get that little twist look to it. And this is pretty much the final product. My client, Clint's checking out, feeling himself. Man, I really wish I could cut this type of hair texture all the time. I wish I could cut more African-Americans. So if you guys are in the area, please hit me up. Let me bar you up because I can cut any type of hair texture or anything, all right? But now we're just gonna put some talc powder clean him off make sure you get all those you know hairs behind the ears behind his neck make sure when you know he's leaving you don't know where they're gonna leave too so he's always got a fresh you know fit on he's always got the nikes the whole you know fit all that the joggers so want to make sure he's you know clean no no hairs you know falling off or getting on his clothes then we're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit aftershave on him just to clean off the skin from you know being down to the razor and getting so close to the skin with the shavers and you know use a blow dry get a nice cooling effect so youtube this time my client came in before looking rough was needed a revival and this time my client left my chair boom look at that fresh clean lineup extendo blowout taper on the side and the back with a hard part on the side cleaned up the top got the curls going in there hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure to like comment subscribe and catch you guys on the next one right i'm out